Hello friends, Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. Uh, we just heard the good news that um, the Yale wireless locks, Wi-Fi wireless locks, are now integrated with the Ajax hub for basically allowing you to first disarm the uh, partition inside your house, for instance, or your office, uh, and also the ability of creating different scenarios uh, between Ajax and Yale. In this example, uh, we have the Azure Lock 2 Wi-Fi version with the touchscreen. Um, there's a different um, you know, there's different models available and we're going to show you the, the different supported models in the description below this, um, this tutorial, okay? So, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to link the Yale wireless lock over Wi-Fi with the Ajax hub, all right? Um, if you need to know or learn how to basically initialize the lock, uh, please follow the instructions from Yale's website or with the instructions that are uh, included with this lock, okay? Uh, again, there's a very specific list of models that you need to get. The Bluetooth are not supported and the standalone units are not supported either, okay? So you need the Wi-Fi edition. And again, we'll, 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 we'll list the details below, okay? So let me basically open my um, mobile app from Ajax and I'm gonna link this lock to my system. All right, so first of all, before I can link this uh, lock to my app, I need to make sure that the system is designed, okay? So if you look under the control section, my system is fully designed, okay? Um, now, when we're gonna start testing the lock and unlocking it with different scenarios and so on, uh, obviously this is not a permanent installation, it's just a temporary setup so you can understand the process. Uh, so when you uh, see that the door is changing of state, you know you can look at the knob here and it's gonna turn depending on if it's locked or unlocked. Okay, so let's have a look. Now we have the system disarmed. I'm going to add device, add third party device. It's a Yale smart lock and we're in Canada, all right? Now I will log in to the system here. Okay, you sign in, and then we're gonna receive, receive a, a code via a text message. All right, so. Verify. All right, so I verify with the correct code. We agree with this agreement. And now you see the system already detected which um, lock we have online on the same network. So it's called front door, so I'm gonna add the front door lock. I, the name is going to be front door and it's, gonna, it's assigned to the lobby room and the group is house, okay? Perfect. So now we have the lock assigned in the hub. We can start testing it, um, but let's create a scenario, scenario for it, okay? So under front door, I go to the settings page, scenarios, add, create a new scenario. So let's try the one to have it follow the arming and disarming state of my system. So I go by arming and disarming. Let's call it arm, arm, disarm, like that. So when arming, I want to lock the door. When disarming, I want it to be unlocked, and I save, okay? So right now, my scenario is applied. If I go back to the main page and go to the control section, all right, when I arm the system, I should receive a notification, you know, the system just locked the front door, okay? So because the system is armed, all right? So you see, it was very easy to apply. I should receive a notification, you know, the system just locked the front door, okay? So because the system is armed, all right? So you see, it was very easy to apply. If I go and now I disarm the system, you know, there's always a bit of a delay, but it shouldn't be that long. Now you see my door is now unlocked. And again, there's an event that is logged in the system and it's gonna tell you who did it also, all right? So now we've tested the arm and disarm scenario. If I go under devices, my front door lock and in the settings and scenarios, okay, I can turn off the scenario and I'm gonna show you a different type of scenario. So by device actuation. So what I want to try is if I punch in a valid code on the lock, on the touch screen, this, the, you know, obviously it's gonna unlock the door, but I want the system to be disarmed, okay? So if the smart lock is unlocked, I want to change the status of my security system, okay? And I want to disarm. Let's call it disarm by code. All right, enter, save. Good. Okay, so now if I lock it, No, it's locked, okay? 
I can see the status of it in the properties of the, of the lock here. So I see my lock is currently locked. If I wake up by touching the Yale logo here, I want enter this code. It's basically the valid code that I created when initialized the lock. Okay. If I go back here, system is disarmed. All right. So basically, like I said, we have two different types of scenarios. You can have the lock follow the status of the area, or maybe just, you know, when you arm, it's going to lock it. You have different, you know, uh, toggles that you can use. And also when entering a valid pin or using the app to, to unlock the door, basically the system is going to disarm automatically. All right. So that's going to prevent false alarms. Um, I hope you like the video. You know, again, there's multiple devices models uh, available. We're going to show you this in the description. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel to have notifications. We have new videos available. And obviously, Inaxis is a distributor of um, Ajax products. Okay. So we have the hub obviously in stock for you if you want to use the system. Okay. Again, my name is Fred Bergeron. Thanks for watching.